Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 17 of the Huddle Podcast. I am your main man here, Matthew at Matt Scorpio, and today we have Jason. Yo, people, I have JJ NBA. Still talking that shit. Yeah, whatever. Uh, also, my girlfriend decided to come along. Uh, Kristen, introduce yourself as Kristen. Hello, I'm Kristen, <laughs> Matthew's girlfriend. And then we have a special guest who's never been a part of the Huddle Podcast before. She's heard like maybe two episodes. Christina, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. And today's topic, we are talking friend zones. Male and female friend zones. Being put in it and putting people in it. Yeah, man, I know a lot of guys have been victim of this, uh, Myself this, included. this felony. <laughs> and uh, It's blasphemous. There's some people that even to, to this day are still in the friend zone from since high school. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's sad. It's sad, really. It's sad. Times is hard, man. Yeah. Don't lose hope. <laughs> <laughs> but before we uh, jump into uh, friend zone, let's just define friend zone, like male and female friend zone. And obviously this isn't a Webster's or Ox- Oxford's like dictionary definition, it's just what I believe male and female friend zone is. Now, female friend zone, obvious, like everybody knows, you know, it's just the chick who will literally lead you on to the brink of, you think that kiss is coming, and then, oh, hear my mom calling, and she runs away from you, you know, like, <laughs> that type of thing, where it's, no matter what you do, no matter how far you go, there is absolutely no pull towards relationship or even tickling your nuts, like, anything. <laughs> Whereas, for men, I feel it's quite the opposite. Like, a guy will put a chick in the friend zone, he will fuck her every day, but there will be absolutely no hope whatsoever for this girl to go anything beyond her vagina being penetrated. Basically, you're a <laughs> side bitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, pretty much. Like, that's what it is for you. And the girl will legit want a relationship with that guy, but he will just take full advantage of her and just leave her in that, nope, nope, we're just friends. <laughs> that fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Which isn't necessarily friends with benefits or fuck friends because usually in that situation, both sides are in agreement to the fucking. Like, it's established that you both just want to fuck. Typically, if you're going to go by that definition. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Um, when I tell you, like I was saying before, seeing these guys put into the friend zone, it's like, it's like their souls is just crushed. <laughs> you just see people. You see, I don't know if they're suicidal or, or well, anything like that. Something. Like if, especially for a guy, if a guy is actually willing to be with a girl and he's trying his damnedest to actually make it happen and it's literally just going absolutely nowhere, that is damn well crushing. That's someone who can't accept rejection and someone who should accept understand. Rejection. There's a difference between being rejected and being put in the friend zone. Because oh. the friend zone is literally like there is that window of it can happen mm-hmm. you know there hasn't been any definition of we are not ever going to be in a relationship <laughs> and then the guy just keeps trying like that's completely different but if the friend zone is like the guy is genuinely nice like you guys are friends but she knows he wants more but rather than just being straight up and saying she doesn't want more she just reaps the benefits of his kindness. That's a lousy bitch right there. That's taking advantage. <laughs> that's taking well, advantage. That's what friend zoning is. You're literally just taking advantage, advantage taking of someone. The, taking advantage of someone. Um, me, out of personal experience, I could say I was in the friend zone. I got out of it. I don't know any guy who hasn't been in the friend zone. Huh? But there's a lot of people who haven't got out of it, though. Yeah, I got sure. out of the friend zone. But that that kind of ended badly. <laughs> and eventually, <laughs> not friends anymore. But I did get out of the friend zone. <laughs> I can't say that for a lot of... A lot of guys who've been trying their hardest, and like yeah, this, there's this one dude in um, elementary of all things, elementary school. Last last year of elementary school, we were going to high school and everything like that. This girl, this guy was loving off this girl the whole time, mm-hmm. since. and even to like about our last year of uh, of college, CJEP, he was still loving off this girl until I think she like finally said no, no. You know, not, and they cut off friendship and everything like that. Yeah. And this dude. She so, took him from elementary school all the way oh yeah. to last oh yeah. year of college. Oh yeah, that thing. See, but like that. in bitch. my opinion, though, it's two sided to a point. Like if a guy is stuck in the friend zone and he wants more, nut up, 
tell her you want more. If she says no, then either be her friend or stop talking to her. Like, it's not like she's forcing you to Dude keep doting up, on her. Tells her what she wants, and she says this line. I'm not ready for that right now. I've heard that. But that is a bitch move, because she's... That's how you get stuck in the film, yeah, because right holding, now, yeah. and as a friend, it's like, oh, I completely understand, but it's not going to stop the guy from being the person he from is. From wanting her. No, like, he's still going to continue to be there for when right now, when I'm not ready for it right now, becomes I am ready for it right now. Sometimes you, just gotta, sometimes you just gotta take the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and we we gotta promote <laughs> rape on the huddle. <laughs> we can do no violence because she just kick me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if know. you provoke violence, <laughs> <laughs> that's different. I mean, shit. Sometimes you get a twitch and your elbow just gets so <laughs> one direction. It happens. <laughs> oh, the severe ticks. <laughs> No, no, no. That, that friends and things. It's so bad, man. And it's like when I see do, when I see um, guys, especially, and I find this pathetic, especially when guys they know they're in the friend zone. Mm-hmm. They know in the friend zone. And seeing this from an outside point of view, you're seeing a guy do this with a girl. They're both friends, but he's in the friend zone, but he wants more. Mm-hmm. And I don't understand how he can't see. He's basically getting played. Yeah. Oh, and definitely. that's the point where it's not even a friend anymore. That's just someone who's just taking advantage of you and just like basically laughing in their head about you. Oh, I can do this shit all the time and all that stuff. Like, yeah. But then sometimes it's easy for a person on the outside to be like, yeah, he's getting played. But if he really adores the girl, whether it be him, relationship wise or he really wants to fuck it's her, the act of kindness. That's all he sees it as. But that's kind of a, a thinking sucks, that she's gonna that's change. What it is. That's kind of obsessive compulsive disorder, don't you think? You just be like. That's the stuff we see on Criminal Minds. Is that they end up killing them and shit like that. I'm not, I'm not joking. It's serious. I've seen this happen. It's like there's people. There's people who like that. You honestly, you see they're your friend, and you honestly see that person taking advantage of you, and you're like, come on, can't you see this? Yeah. So, ladies, since you're here, give us an example of the time you friends on some. Ooh. Christina, you could talk. Don't act like yeah. you've never done it. Well, you have a vagina, you've automatically done a fight. <laughs> <laughs> See, but for girls, I think you have to at some point put someone in the friend zone. That's not what I asked. I either said, the situation, either friend zone. Someone. But like sometimes you don't know, you know. Like sometimes some guys are not in your face about like I want to fuck you or I want a, a serious Thank relationship. Thank you very with much. You. Yes. Yeah. So they just wait there, and then all of a sudden they get drunk and blurt out, "Why won't you fuck me?" Or "What can I do?" <laughs> like relax. Yeah. Relax and just. I don't like it when guys don't tell. This is back. I know. I just like guys like be more direct. Fuck. Because then I feel like some girls, the good ones, will tell you. Because yeah, I've exactly. done that. Guys wait, have wait, wanted did you more. Just say you guys. You want guys to be more direct. That's a. That's a lie. That is the. That's thing. Oh my god! god. No, men think they know and, what we're no, thinking. No, no, no. It's not even a matter of us knowing what you're thinking. It's that we are very direct. But when we are direct. They don't it like gets it. put in our face. It's like a turn off to girls, basically. Like, like you want men to tell you what they're thinking, and when you really get to know what men are thinking, you're like, "Oh, you're such a pig. You're disgusting. You're this or that." <laughs> you know, it's like, "We well, yeah, I'm being direct with you. That's what you told me to do." Yeah, like, but yeah. there's yeah. But then okay. you basically like women want the direct approach, the way they have it in their head. It's like this. I, yeah, 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 I agree. Yes, I point. do. I yeah. do. Girls want to yeah, hear yeah. what they want to hear. No, girls want to <laughs> hear. What they're thinking from a guy. That's not going to happen. What do you mean? Like you want to hear? Way? You want to hear what's in your head, but from a guy's mouth. Yeah. You want him to say what you're thinking. In the ways of like, you want him and to okay, compliment like, you. Like compliments. Or when you like get anything. ready for okay, a date okay. or something to meet up with a guy, I guarantee you, you've already ran how the date's going to go from beginning to end at least ten different ways. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's I not like you, you pinpoint it though. Unless, it's just like, something that happens. Unless happened. the guy yeah, is yeah, in a yeah, situation yeah. where it's subconscious. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. I feel, for me personally, like I don't do that. Like I have zero. Like when I go into a date, the only thing I know I'm gonna do is like ask certain questions, like things I need to know. Do you have all your teeth? Besides, <laughs> 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 like, besides that, like whichever way the date goes, it goes. I literally will have no expectations for but where see, the date goes or what. 
the person I'm meeting, like, how it should be. But see, that's your personality. There are some girls who think that same way, and there are some guys who think, okay, I hope there's no lull in the conversation, I hope she is okay with me kissing her at the end of the night. Yeah, that's, 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 like, that's, 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 that's the awkward part. That's the awkward part. That's a different, that's a guy who lacks confidence in himself yeah. to actually say these things directly. That's like you were saying, nut up. Yeah, not a yeah. guy. People who lack confidence, yeah. they can't say this stuff. Obviously, get stuck in a friend zone. They get, get stuck in a friend zone. Yeah. Exactly. They don't. They don't. They don't want to say what they really want to say, yeah. and that's how they get caught up. Now, see, like from my perspective, anyway, mm-hmm. I know Christina, if you agree with this, but I remember, like, there's a couple different ways that you can have a friend zone relationship with a guy. Mm -hmm. It could be the guy being like, this is what I want from you, and the girl being like, I don't want it at this point, or I never want it, and you just continue with him trying to pursue you. Good question. What does at this point mean? I don't know. I've never said that. (laughs) It's like when you say, I don't want that right now. It's that little window of opportunity. like That gives them hope, which could be false hope. That is yeah, false hope. I think it's just sure. a nice way of saying hope. things. Honestly, that's it's my thanks, yeah. No thanks. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Exactly. It's just a nice. It's yeah. Don't be. It's kind of like when somebody breaks sucks. up with you and they're like, "We're gonna be friends after." Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> but that's so no. But that's <laughs> so, that's worse. I'm about me time right now. I don't know if you want to be friends, but you ain't gonna want to be my friend when we break up. No, but I see like that's a completely <laughs> see something. that's a completely <laughs> hypocritical thing for a girl to do. Because if you're being like, I want the guy to be direct, and then he asks you straight out, you should give him a direct answer. Yeah, you shouldn't be like, maybe in uh, two months we'll see, mm. or I just broke up with my boyfriend, not now. Then the guy obviously is gonna wait around for you, which sucks. Those poor bastards. <laughs> it should be, it should be a felony if anything. Yeah, I think it's a cardinal sin, man. Huh? It's like a, it's a cardinal sin. A it's cardinal like, sin. <laughs> it's the top of the list. I don't know. It's uh, Jesus Christ. It's like right beside peeing on a crucifix, man. Okay, so Kristen, go on with your idea. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so she like, fin- I don't think she finished. But. So like, yeah, there was one where the guy could tell you outright his feelings, yeah. and you just continued to be in the friend zone or whatever, or. The ones who have no confidence, who are like, okay, I'm just going to wait around until she realizes that I'm the right one for her. <laughs> That's retarded. Like, yeah. I do not agree with that at all. Those are the Charlies. The, Char- the Charlies. Oh, the Charlies. <laughs> no name. Those are Charlies. No name. No, that's what, that's what they're called. They're Charlies. The Charlies? They just wait around. And they swoop in. Like, no, because she's always going to see you as a friend. It's not like some romantic movie where, it's like oh my god, he was like, for me the whole time. I actually love him. But that's like the him. same situation for those guys who are like really close friends with a girl who has a boyfriend. And he's like, oh, he's not good for you. He's such a bad oh, guy. Oh, yeah. So the, the guy's going to try and demean the, the, the boyfriend. <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> I know. That's not cool. That's not cool. <laughs> that's not good. Do but, sorry. but girls do that as well, I feel. I find. If oh, girls do are women, that's do, oh, oh, Hold on. This is another topic in itself, but do men like pursuing women who are in a relationship? Do men get off on that? And do women get off on that? Is yeah, that's what I want to know. No, if you're, if you're, if you're dealing with someone... So if you're dealing with someone okay. that and you're, th- that's it, don't yeah. I won't butt into that shit. Yeah, yeah man. good. That's the way that. you should be. I that. find I'm girls though, me. girls they Mom get off. Is that no, what you're I find girls can what? be a little bit more bitchy. <laughs> if <laughs> I'm <laughs> single, if yeah. she's in a but she comes to me. Oh, that's different. Those are off. So I'm she's like, that's different. Like, unless she's exactly. a friend of mine. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and I'd be like, yo, wait. Okay, so that's what if a boyfriend accuses you of like? If I don't know the dude, she comes to me. Yeah, then what? I'm going to just act like I didn't know. That's um. different because it's her choice. We're yeah. talking about the guys who... Guys um, don't do it. Like, well, shouldn't do talk it. Talk shit about her boyfriend. Not talk shit, but like, you know, being like, oh, I could treat you so much better. Even if they're saying it half-jokingly, still, you're trying to cross shit. Those are dudes shit. on the block that do that shit. And, <laughs> and no one wants to be their friends. <laughs> but I find there's some girls, like... I hate those kind of girls. Which ones? Who are like? There's girls who will go, like. Let's say they just with my boyfriend. In on the shadows. Yeah. <laughs> Some girls will go up to him, knowing full well he's in a relationship, or like he'll tell them whatever. Yeah. And they'll still try and pursue it. I know he won't do anything, but That's it's fine. them. It's <laughs> on. It's on her. It's on their side. 
Because they're like, fuck it, knowing, whatever. Knowing Matt, he'll yeah, do like a yeah. Dave Chappelle, you know? I'm sure you, you ever saw the episode with Dave Chappelle? <laughs> no, not that, not that. Um, <laughs> it was just where race. he's like, is in the final season where he's like, he's like, he got all the money now, and he, he says to Donnell's wife, come back with me, you can stay with me, and everything like that. Yeah. And after she comes up in the limo, and you see him <laughs> with his family, psych! <laughs> just like that. Just do like that. It's like, I know, like, like he would probably like, lead them on to a certain point, and they say, ah, oh, gotta go to my girl. <laughs> and just drop them like that. <laughs> without any bus oh, fare. Like I don't have patience. To <laughs> like, in all honesty, I have no patience for that kind of crap. Especially okay, like I have a good knows. question. What? I have a girlfriend, like, fuck off. You know how many situations <laughs> oh, I've been in where a guy tells me he's in a relationship, but he's still flirting me up? What is up with that? That's, that's like, just that's you falling God. for that's you falling for game. Huh? That's you falling for game. You like, come fun. on. And you you flirt back? Hey man, or you made a whole song? <laughs> Depends. About I don't know, shit. but listen, what is up <laughs> with the guys that don't say right off the bat, okay, that they're in a relationship? Because they're dogs. Because you didn't ask. Those are. <laughs> he makes, he makes a point. No, 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 no. Because the guy is flirting up the girl, but okay. yet he only tells her on the fifth encounter that he's in a relationship. Oh shit! Oh, okay, well, come that, on, I think there's something wrong with that. Uh, the fifth talking, the fifth conversation. Yeah, you know how many that, times that it's happened to my friend? Before, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, all the time. If like it happens all the time. Long, how'd you not find out? It's crazy. <laughs> it's like not even funny. I don't even get it. You fell for game. No, not me. Not me. Okay, don't get Wait, me. So <laughs> then, so then, she finds out. Like, is it a part of the game <laughs> if the guy has the girlfriend, or is he just no? He he's not lying mind. about it. Yeah, he's yeah, just he not saying yeah, yeah. he has one. Yeah. Should have asked. You know. Should've so asked. what are we supposed to do to every guy? Do you have a girlfriend? So why is he flirting her up Anytime? in the first place? Why dreams? is he flirting a girl up in the first? In the okay, first let me place? ask you a question. Why do you go to the clubs wearing mini dresses all the time? Oh my god! Answer the question. No, answer the question. I like to look. Hot. Why? Thank you very much, Why? Kristen. Thank you. Why? Because we want to look good. What, what am I going to go there in my nightgown? Am I going to go there in my nightgown? No, no, I'm not saying that. But so I'm not always in a mini dress. No, no, I'm in jeans and like a tank top sometimes. But the majority of girls that we see going to clubs yeah. wear a lot of mini skirts. So it just starts to wear. Okay. When you, and when, so? you, when you go up to them and they're like, "Oh, I don't want to talk to you." Well, you, if you look like a bitch, sound like a bitch. Act like a bitch. I'm not acting like a I'm bitch. Gonna, I don't have to act like a bitch. I'm a very nice yeah. person. I'm going to treat you like a bitch. No, but that's the thing. But there's a lot of girls who dress this way. And what do they dress that way for? To go get cash. Well, some they girls want attention. Want attention or or want so we girl- completely off topic. No, we're just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Same thing yeah. Talk about the way bitches dress in the club. So then what? Jason, continue. No, no, no. I made my point. It's like if they look a certain way. You're gonna approach them a certain way. That's yeah. that's my point I'm trying to make. So let's get back. But to I the look topic classy. We look classy, right? Ah, uh, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes <laughs> I'm like, damn. I look like ain't a little no class, class in this bedroom. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> I'm like cowboys. Ew, no but, um, disgusting stains. <laughs> oh, <what>? No black <laughs> <light>, please. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, back to the topic of friends. Okay, okay. <clears throat> we've pretty much gone over the male side of things, but the female side of things now. Putting women in the friend zone. Yeah, and I can tell you, this topic. happens a lot more than you think. Oh, yeah. Usually, when we, well, me personally, how I see it is when I put a girl in the friend zone, it's a girl I don't find attractive. Normally. Yeah. Like, physically? No. Like, <laughs> or in all right. Right. I find physically. Physically. No, it can no. be physically or personality, but that's that's the main case. You're not okay. attracted to them, but you still want to be friends with them or something like that. Okay. But she wants more. Or they dated a friend that you've of a, someone you dated or some shit like yeah. that. That's when you put them in the friend zone. Like oh, that. that's automatic, man. Like, that's you automatic. gotta respect that. Yeah. So, yo, that was my homie. I can't... This? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to kick it? You could pick up some joysticks. You'll play some Mortal Kombat some shit. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> but that. That's how I see it for guys. It's, it's more of a... It could be a physical or a personality-wise thing, but that's how I see it. I don't know how you see it, man. How you put girls yeah. in the friend zone. Oh yeah, there's that situation where it's like, I'm attractive, and she's still pursuing you, and, I mean, yeah, in, in a sense, you don't want to destroy their feelings, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but see, like... But I'll tell you right now, for a guy, like, a guy will literally just say... He'll say that he's not yeah, in your Yeah, I'm, I'm not interested in you at all. But you're still gonna fuck Especially if the girl... So no, girl no, 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 we're not, 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 not
Oh, oh, girl, the, girl, the the once you start fucking her, she might think, oh, no, maybe there's... Like, hold on, maybe she's gonna... If a attractive, you ain't fucking her. Yeah, if a girl's unattractive, you don't have to... Yeah, but no. if you do fuck her and she is somewhat hot, then she's gonna think maybe there's the possibility but of it leading to a relationship. Maybe. No, yeah. we're, we're talking about unattractive girls we know we will not fuck. Oh, okay, okay, nice, okay, 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 okay. No, and that's right. fine, you tell yeah. them straight But I will reap every benefit of her coming over with food and ticket. Yo, we gonna play... The video games or and it's not taking advantage it's not taking advantage it's not taking advantage it's because we're talking and we, and we say I straight up I think you should bring the wings bon, bon. <laughs> that's the thing with guys we say straight up from the beginning so you know we ain't shit when we tell you <laughs> we tell you from the beginning we tell you all this from the beginning another way friends on is like you know you don't want to have any type of long term lasting relationship with a chick Beyond she's friends. into you and she actually wants to have that relationship but you're like I would still hit Okay, I have, so you do. I have a question. <laughs> I have a really good question. Okay, I have a question <laughs> for you too. Um, if you stick someone in the friend zone, will you still compliment them? And how do you look or something like that? How, what type of compliments are we talking about? I'm taught like any kind of compliments, be it personality wise, if they say something cute, let's say on Twitter or Facebook or whatever, will you say something flirtatious towards them? No. I don't get it though. Like, what do you s- meaning? Like, basically, are you going to go out of your way to make them feel better? Hell no. Not <laughs> really. They. Why the hell I gotta do that? I know she's into me. Yeah, but <laughs> I find that if guys know a girl is into them, then I feel like they'll kind of pry it a bit more, giving yeah, her little like compliments to keep the the most fun part what she's of doing getting for them going is the actual work into getting the woman. Once you've gotten her. Next up. Keys to the VIP. Like, literally. The, and, you know, like, yeah, you'll keep her around. Not to say, like, you're just going to push her to the side, but you know for a fact you do not have to put effort into keeping her around. Why would you? It's like yeah, a friend I'm, who's I'm always there. You don't, to, you don't need to, like, talk to all like, the time. Especially if it's, like, you have there. no relationship. It's mm-hmm. literally, like, one of those things where I can send you a text or a call and you're going to be right there right away. I don't have to put effort into that. I don't have to compliment you or send you tweets or Facebook likes. Like, mm. why the hell would I do that? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So, what was your question? Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's related. I don't think so, though. Go ahead. Spit Speak. Hey, what does it mean when somebody says we're seeing each other? What? What do you mean? <laughs> what does it mean? Is that mean like we're gonna get into a relationship or we're like friends but when a bit more? I think it's different for everyone when they're seeing each other. Yeah. What does seeing that mean? Each other. When we're seeing each other, but you're not official uh, I yet. I usually go like this is how it is. <laughs> She's like, what? what are you looking at me for? <laughs> I put, I put <laughs> this has nothing to do with me. I put seeing each other in the same field as like dating someone. You know, because if you're seeing each other, it means like usually you're doing things with each other. Yeah, but you're, you're like, not official you're not, yet yeah, because the guy official. or the girl has not technically asked the like, other person. I don't consider out. seeing each other or dating each other anything official whatsoever. Really? Yeah, because I can date you doesn't mean I'm actually going to have a full out relationship with you. I'm dating you to see if I want to have a relationship with you. Mm. So it could be five dates later, and usually for me it won't take that long to know. But like, let's say like you're on like your fifth date and you still haven't made it official. Like you're not official. Even if you've gone out five times. Because I can be dating you and dating somebody else because I'm trying to figure out who I want to be with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I find a lot of times, too, like, girls get offended if they hear, oh, he took me out on a date. Why did he take you out on a date? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But it's like, we're not official. You weren't official. You know? So that's something we'll distinguish here right now. Let's hope people understand that seeing each other and dating each other does not mean you're official. Mm-hmm. In, yeah, I agree. In my opinion seeing someone comes before dating. Yeah, yeah. Like, when... In what sense? In what sense is that seeing each other is so casual. Like, you don't even, maybe even go out on a date yet. You go on one date. It's kind of casual. <clears throat> you go get something quick to eat. Maybe go see a movie. You're just testing the That's waters. But <laughs> seeing each other is it's so much thing. looser, though. When no, you're it, dating, in my opinion, when you're it's dating... It's a more casual way of saying dating, but you were literally dating. Because if you go out for a cup of coffee, that's a date. Uh, if not it's to me. Not technically, not no. to me. What, you're hanging out? Yeah, you're seeing him. Yeah, uh, I would no. say we're hanging out. Uh, yeah. So what, well, you're seeing him to figure out if you want to date him? When yeah. what you're doing is a date? Oh my god. I don't know. <laughs> How does that make sense? <laughs> For me, I wouldn't be like, I'm dating someone. Like, let's say you went out for coffee twice. Are you going to tell people you're dating anyone? No, you're going to tell them you're seeing someone. No, no. But 
It's the exact same shit. Like, if you go out to coffee, mm -hmm. and then you decide, hey, I want to see you again, like, the next thing you do is a date. And then you start dating. Like it's but the so then you decide to make it dates. official. Usually, usually, that's a conversation. Seeing, I think usually, you have if to you're have seeing someone, person. it's not. Mm -hmm. It's something that's not set up. Like a date is something where you set and you know you both go to both of you. If you're seeing someone, like say out of contact, you meet someone like oh, how do you I don't not know. set up seeing someone? No, like say for example, I don't know. Let's say I don't know how you can be seeing someone and not setting it up. Not no, like say <laughs> for example, if I don't know, like one of the time you meet up places because it's a group event or whatever mm -hmm. that's something as seeing someone who's always going to be there you always hang out with them no matter what but this is like a group contest I'm but if you're about. just hanging out that's not technically seeing each other but that's what I mean that's what, what makes that's it seeing each other is that you both know that set times you're going to be doing things together like you're going to be going out you're going to be doing this because you're trying to get to know each other which is dating it's but not in a relationship the thing. no dating in general not a relationship okay I think that's a conversation that, like, you have to have with the other person, like, after a while, like, so, um, like, you're going really good, whatever, all that awkward stuff, you know? If you're in a relationship, you can still go on dates with the person you're with. Cause oh, of the, course. The, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. What a date yeah. is, Those is, are is date you night. guys yeah. are setting up But I thought dating was another word for being in a relationship. No, no, no. no. See, no. me and Matt aren't that's dating. That's confusion. We're in a relationship. Well, you know, after after how much years now, <laughs> I would think. <laughs> no, but like, no, like, like, like there's. But that's the thing. Like, but some there's girls, a point. How long did you guys take to become official? For a year. See, for us, are you in a relationship? It was like, no, like, oh, yeah. like we were seeing each other. Stop. Oh, for <laughs> sorry, oh my God. we were we were seeing each other for I don't know a little bit. Like, it was hard because when I met him, I was only here for two months, and then I moved away for eight. So that whole time, I didn't consider me and Matt dating. We we were seeing each other. I'm yeah, all the way in Vancouver. Because mm -hmm. we were just like texting and occasionally. It was Skype. still we could do whatever could we taken, want like, to other, other with other people if that was what we wished. Mm -hmm. And then when I came back, that's when we officially started dating. We saw nobody else, etc. But that was something we talked about. Mm -hmm. So you can't just assume you're official with someone. Because then that's when you're going to get fucked. Just, just oh, the guy I was on three dates. Does yeah, not mean you're in a relationship. Yeah, you have to you have to talk to the person and make sure that you're not seeing anyone. I'm not seeing anyone else. Do we want to give this a good try? You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, I think everyone's definition varies. Says so boy. Yeah, I guess. But what did yeah. that have to do with what we were saying again? I'm sorry, I lost my. Memory. It was just a <laughs> question. It was a segue. It was a segue. Uh, what was I saying before that? Then? Something with the friends on, I guess. Yes. <laughs> Talk about female friends. <laughs> female friends. On. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, because you said, do you compliment the woman? I said, fuck that. Why would you? Like, yeah. It's a waste of time if you know you already have her. And see, that's that's how guys work. You know, like if we know a chick is attracted to us, and it's like the drop of a dime, I know I can go to that person and get whatever I want. That's so sad. But I have absolutely no intentions of pushing it forward. That's putting the female in the friend zone. And there are a lot of women like that. Which well, is sad. Well, I know. Put like this. If you're a female, and that one guy, your him, sends you that text at 3 o'clock in the morning, and you know you're going, but you guys aren't in a relationship, That's a booty you either call. side chick, friend zone, or you just loose. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. You're in one of these three categories. <laughs> I would say a side chick. Most likely. Well, only a side Perfect. chick if he has a girlfriend. Yeah. Then it'd be a side Yeah, because then it's just some chick he's fucking. There's <laughs> nobody friend on the zone. side. Or you could be a fuck friend. So then it's tell you, like, you, you expect that call to come. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's different. Yeah. That's being loose. <laughs> That's loose. <laughs> That's loose. <laughs> It's a, rota it's a rotation between the three. Your friends are as if you just know, like, that's that's your him. Like, you want him, but the only way you know you can keep him is with your vagina. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that I don't like, Go ahead. obviously, because I'm in a relationship, is the girls who know that they're side chicks, and they're, like, happy with it. What do you mean? Like, the ones who are, like... Yo, some of them are delusional. Themselves. Like they're no like in society. No, no, no. <laughs> Listen though, some of them are delusional, being like, "Oh yeah, 
he's with her right now, but I'm a side, like, I'm his on the side. Oh. He keeps telling me that he's going to leave her for me. Nah. Nobody's leaving for the side mm-hmm. chick. Especially if the Once a side married? chick, always well, a side chick. Not. If a guy's mm-hmm. married, don't you ever in your goddamn life think he's going to leave his oh, wife no. and probably the kids for you? That's no, just no. another form of delusion. That's permanent friend zone. He's just going to use <laughs> you for money. That's all it is. And that's not even a friend no more at that point. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's like the worst form. Like, you're not, you can't even call that a side chick. That's a mistress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Jason, have, have you ever been put in the friend zone? Yeah. What are your some of your friend zone experiences? Well, you know my last relationship. Still hurt. Yeah. That was a friend zone thing. That yeah. Still hurt but I got out of it. You. But you know how it ended. <laughs> you know how that ended. And uh, it's, not, it's not even friends zone anymore. It's not friends at all. No zone. And I got a, how did I get, I got out of that friend zone because I was direct. I admit, See, I was, I was, I was in that point where I was like, you know, Yo, you know man, what? You, just, you wanted that poon so bad? <laughs> <laughs> I asked, you know, Jason, man up, man up. And after I said what I had to say, got out of the friend zone. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then after, uh, shit happens. But that's fine. You give it a try, you know. Yeah, I'm not like not like some people who are afraid of rejection. That's that's why they end up in the friends in the friend zone, and like, don't be afraid of rejection. What's the worst thing that can happen? An anvil hits you on the head. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. It's like people think if they like they get rejected, it's like the end of the world. And I've seen this many times. People get rejected because better to be in a state of limbo, uncertainty, man. I don't know. I don't that's know about that, man. That's how most people. Some. It's I find, not though. I find that people who stress over things like that, like, oh, does she like me? Does she like me? Should I ask her this or that? People like that, they stress around for nothing. Yeah. yeah stress around no, for they nothing. Fuck themselves yeah. over because they're mm-hmm. as much as they want to know the answer, they're afraid of what the opposite of it could be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, there's mm-hmm. so many worse things than being rejected. You haven't built anything with this person. If you're rejected, you're rejected. Well, other than that, I don't think. I've been placed in the friends and other than yeah. that situation specifically. Yeah. Oh man, high school? Fuck. High school? Uh, friend zone central. <laughs> not, well, no, not me in high school because, no, because it's just different between like friend zone but someone who's like a girl, you know, that's that's someone you hang with. That's someone you won't okay. do shit with but that's like your girl, like your friends, your yeah, friend's yeah. friend. That's like a good oh, friend. I mean, like, that's a good friend. That's a good friend. Yeah, yeah. Well, high school, I wasn't placing no friends on. Fuck that shit. Yeah, no. Were you going after girls? Huh? <laughs> I was going after girls. You have to be on the crowd to be putting friends on. You know that, right? <laughs> huh? I was, I was going after girls, but the, the thing with our high school, we had no fun chicks except like the three I could name, mm-hmm. but I won't. <laughs> but no, but our high school was pretty... Hard times. Yeah, hard times. <laughs> hard times in high school. If Wolf was here, he would tell you guys, uh, it was, uh, there wasn't, uh, there wasn't much crops in the field. <laughs> but you guys witnessed people in the friend zone oh, in high school. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, I don't know about your high school. Seeing it myself and seeing other people in it. How were you placed? Hurts, how were you placed in yeah, the friend zone? I want to know how you were placed in the friend zone. You know how it is, man. There's that chick you like. You try to sue the fuck out of her, but it just don't work. Are you friends with her still, or? Actually, yeah, we, we're still friends, but not in the sense where it's like I want her. Like, yeah, yeah. way past that. But did she go backwards in life? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly couldn't tell you. She doesn't live in Montreal anymore. Okay, so, so then, I, then, because usually, uh, me personally, I like to see w- not like rejection, but people like piss me off, go backwards in life. <laughs> it's funny to me because it's like you reject. That's that's the bitter Jason talking. That's the bitter one. <laughs> that's like you rejected me. Okay, fine. And, and after I see you, oh, no, where see you are, and stuff like that. Obviously, everyone's <laughs> gonna feel that. a sort of like, like yo from people who's rejected me to like exes. It's like oh. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> we're backwards away. Because you know you're doing better than that person. How would you, you not feel good? You hate is going to hate walk. <laughs> Walking like Joel Santana on a car sheet. Hands swinging and shit like that everywhere. Yeah, man, that's life, man. That shit happens. <laughs> Who have you put in the friend zone, Christina? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nobody. Don't put. Don't say names, but right, man. stop Should lying. be in the friend zone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I have. I just I can't think of a situation right now. Has someone put you in a friend zone? Yeah. And how did that feel for you? Oh, now that we gave you well. the definition, she knows. We're still we're still friends now today, actually. So. And 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 and, and what? Is it still friend zone? You still want that penis? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 It's okay if you still want that penis. No. No. We're still friends, and that's it. We talk once in a while. 
Because you got to make sure when you're better than him, he knows. Mm -hmm. That's this is how it is. It's like yeah. you got to get to a point where it's like you could have all of this <laughs> 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 and just walk away. Oh man. <laughs> So that's it? You don't have no nothing else other than that? No, nothing else, no. Anything you've witnessed? No. Well, Cody! Like <laughs> you went to a notorious school that's known for this kind of shit, right. and you tell me that you can't tell me <laughs> no this? Yo, she got stories where she's like... I know! <laughs> you don't have to mention names! I don't remember my Royal Vale days. That was back in the I days. said no names! <laughs> Yo, she went to Royal Vale, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know who she is. She tells you this story. And it's you. No, get it. Royal Vale, you're on blast. Oh, you old uh, Just circle alumni. the house twice. <laughs> Do you have any suggestions for guys who are in the friend zone on how to get out of the friend zone? Yo. You believe her in directness. Yes. Do you just want them to like just give up and go away? Well, like, I'm tell you I right think now, if, if they already know that the girl is saying no, they don't want to be in a relationship and they just want to be the guy's friend, mm -hmm. then they should just take it for what it is and move on. Get, move on. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Look, you got to harp straight on up, something like, that you know is not going to happen. Girl, you ain't yeah. dating no one. I ain't dating no one, so we're going to go on one date. If you don't like me after that, whatever, but one fucking date, bitch, you're going to do it. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Who, who wouldn't love that approach? Who mm -hmm. wouldn't love That's it? That's as direct, nutting up, like, ain't no other way to do it. You just gotta mm -hmm. grab her arm, you got to. We're going on this date. Strong <laughs> like, we going on this date. <laughs> what I don't you like is... enjoy yourself. <laughs> what I don't like is the guys that you put in the... Fr well, mm -hmm. I don't think you put people you in the friend zone. Do it. They're there. Yeah, it just happens, kind of They're thing. gradually been placed <coughs> just friend status. Yeah, yeah. I don't like the ones who are in the friend zone they know they know that you don't want anything from them but they keep pushing and pushing and pushing and that's that's called a stalker by oh my answer. god <laughs> that that ruins the friendship and then some guys are like oh but how did we drift apart how no because you were being a douche especially if the girl has a boyfriend and the guy in the friend zone is pushing that's just a rap move. Yeah. What well, in that case, the girl with the boyfriend should tell Pass the boyfriend it. and Ooh. let the boyfriend deal with the other dude. And this, no, this, the girl yeah. should be able to handle herself. She shouldn't be running to her man, being like, "Be take care of him for me." No. Hey, trust me. Once a once a guy gives that look to the other dude, he's gonna stay away. <laughs> How many times? I'm sure this happened. Has a, has a guy ever come up to you in the club and like he say for example is not paying attention and come up to you yeah and as soon as as soon as like he turned and looked at him did he come back again probably not exactly <laughs> there you go I don't know there you go you have to get I that look would come back sick time <laughs> show what I do with this bottle <laughs> <laughs> once he, once the other guy gives that guy the look the guy's gonna he back knows. away he doesn't come back he knows I think because to an extent it's a respect thing too mm -hmm. if you're in a club mm -hmm. you're going after a girl that's fine. But if then you realize that her boyfriend's there and she's actually good in the relationship, because some girls, they don't give a fuck. Their boyfriend's there. They're still going to flirt with you and do yeah. all kinds of stuff. That's, That's lousy. Lousy bitch right That's there. lousy bitch. <laughs> That's a new motto. So you just tell a girl like that, you'll send me some news. Yeah. And once you get the news, like, if you don't fuck off, I'm going to spread I'm gonna shit. I have a question. <laughs> is, is flirting a form of cheating, so to speak? Ooh, no. <laughs> We're getting into the, the tough questions I now. I no. No? To a point. Oh, so the flirting is just, healthy. You can look. But you can talk. Just don't touch, man. No. There's, in my opinion... Ooh, pop that puss for goo, ma. <laughs> Sorry, but my girls are... <laughs> That's it? In, in my opinion... Oh, there's, there's another kick. verbal cheating. How? It's not only physical cheating. Yeah. There's verbal cheating. Oh, you're going I with agree. that mentality bullshit? Huh? Like that mentality? Like, <laughs> yo, you cheated on me mentally because you was talking... Too fucking personal and shit. That type of shit? No, no, no. The guy can be really personal with a girl and be really good friends with her, but I think verbal cheating is when you get to a certain point where, like, you have a girlfriend, why do you keep flirting and flirting and escalating the flirting, you know? Where do you see my thing? <laughs> <laughs> that's basically what it is, the whisper song. That's exactly oh, what that's exactly what it is. But like guys know what I'm talking about, you know? It's not like nobody time. knows. Or do the creep or that shit there. <laughs> no, it's the <laughs> What, so just flirting. 
Oh, I don't, I don't see it. No, but there's, learning there's, there's friendly, fine, but it's to a point. There's, yes, exactly. There's and friendly And friendly. guys know what that point like, is. Yeah, the like, line must be drawn about somewhere. You can do, yeah. like, I you can know? suck golf ball through a hose type shit, like, you know. What? <laughs> 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 Why would you ever want to do that? What I'm saying is, I'm not saying some type of explicit shit like that, where it's like the things I could do to you, you know, like that. That's obviously going to be taken too far, yeah, but there's like, other uh, things as well. Like, I ain't going to be like, yo, girl, man, I got these magic fingers. Get you off in five seconds. Like, I wouldn't tell a girl that. But I'm just like, I for oh, sure think he does. You have a really nice body, you know? Like, oh, <laughs> I give sex tips. But I do not tell people but what I would do to them. Cheating <laughs> is not only physical, there is verbal cheating. Yeah, Some yeah. people can disagree with that, but I think there's I verbal that. and physical cheating. I agree. I didn't even know there was the such thing as verbal cheating. <laughs> I thought that shit was myth. Like AIDS. Whatever, we've talked about this before. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever flirted up a girl while being in a relationship? Hell yeah. <laughs> like us, like me and Matt? <laughs> I've flirted up Oh, for before. sure. Fuck yeah. Rose. I do it right with her. What about you? Yeah, yeah. He does it with, Who's like, you? with me. Me? If I flirt up a girl when I'm in a relationship? Yeah, but You gotta not. say, you have to. But, As but a man, but you what? have to, because you gotta know you still got it. But okay? what? Huh? But what? As but a not man, around the girl. Guy, you, you still got it. Oh, but I'm gonna tell her later on. I'm not gonna say what I said, but I'm gonna tell her what I did. <laughs> Trust me, there's a difference. There's a difference. What I, what I mean by that is like, if like, say for example, if I flirted with a girl, yeah, and I told you I flirted with a girl, mm-hmm. you're gonna be you're gonna be thinking like, what the fuck did he say? Blah blah blah. Obviously. But if I told you what I said, you're gonna be like, oh, this is what he said. It's nothing big. It's not a big deal. Yeah, because it's the imagination. Obviously, that runs I'm not gonna tell wild. you anything I said though. But. <laughs> See that yeah. right there. It's all part of the game, man. I think it's wrong. <laughs> but the that's my opinion. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You're laughing for no reason. I'm just taking my phone. I don't know. Ain't nothing wrong with flirting, though, okay? No, flirt, okay, flirting's the healthy. But you there's know, a line. Look, ladies there's and a line. gentlemen, you have to know you still have the capacity after being in a long term so relationship. Flirt up your to woman. Flirt. I don't no, have to speak no, to that's, someone that's to, to, to you gotta, know you have some, have you still it. got those skills, man. I need to know that if I just give the wink, it's enough to make pussies wet. I need to know that, okay? <laughs> Even if I have no intentions of using it, I need to know it. Because if, God forbid, the relationship ends and I lose my game, I mean, commit suicide. It's true. He's not what he's saying is, is yeah, actually true. Especially this for guys. You just can't go back to condoms. Hmm? Think about that who, shit. Who can? So yeah. if you break up from a long-term relationship, <laughs> you have to make sure the amount of time between breaking up, finding new chick, getting comfortable enough to get back to no condoms has to be like a span of two months. Relax. Well, nah, 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 you understand, man. Because if you're not, the man has to have sex after a week from being in a long-term relationship where he's used to having regular sex. One week of no sex drives him insane. Like he'll well, kill yeah, someone. Yeah, obviously. He'll, he'll shoot him up for like, if, He'll kill the bitch. That's why it happens. <laughs> like they were in a long-term relationship, they broke up. He killed her. You wanna know why? He didn't have sex for a week. That's why he killed her. <laughs> Tell me right now. So the guys try to make that that window, that timeline of. From no relationship to back to a relationship where I don't have to use condoms again has to be short and sweet. No, but see, like, that's why you got to know if you can still flirt. Plus, like, men, (laughs) if, like, if one of your guy friends gets into a relationship, you still need him as a wingman, let's say. He's still gonna be your wingman, he's still gonna flirt with girls with you, you know? (laughs) But it's to a point. You shouldn't touch them and you shouldn't be, you shouldn't cross the line in flirting. Look, if there's a fat chick, you have to touch them. What? <laughs> that's the that's the general rule. You get the fat chick away. Yeah, but to the it women. may not be your the choice the to touch them. They may just be so chick. large that they just touch you. And you have to <laughs> kindly guide her somewhere. But away. thank God I'm never <laughs> the wingman, so I don't have to touch no fat chick. <laughs> you're the Chase would be like, so. "You're on your own." <laughs> you're, that's right. You're on your you're own. On your own. Hey. I'm gonna see a big girl and say, nah, my, my wrist hurts. I can't push I it. Just, <laughs> my wrist hurts. I tackle the mother hands because I'm very persuasive. And I just get them into long conversations where they completely forget where their friends are. And if you could get the mother hand, all you have to do is distract the mother hand for three minutes, 
and all your boys will grab whichever chick they're looking at and disperse. Go, go, go! It'll be like cockroaches with the light on. It's just like, <laughs> everybody's gone. She turns, hey, where are my friends? I don't even know. We've been talking for like three minutes. Everybody's gone. <laughs> That's good, you know? It's fine. Just gotta know, man. You gotta, you gotta be strong. Yeah. And what he was saying about skills, like, after my relationship, after the one that I had in CJEP, mm-hmm. I was on a complete dry spell. That was like Aww. the worst. I have, I, and I was like, I was like, no, no, uh, my game. But after my game came back my gradually, game. I think I went four and months. I once never lost it without sex. How much? Four months. It was the longest I went. Did you? You almost you tied the knot. Yo, up? I was playing so much video games and eating so much Doritos. And in in, <laughs> in, 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 Lanky, in Lanky time, that's about twenty years. Yo, I swear <laughs> to God, it was the worst. <laughs> four months. Such a four man. Months without <laughs> sex. My God. I couldn't imagine that now. Somebody would die. I would have to kill someone. <laughs> like, yo. Because he's getting it so good. Like, I'm telling you now, like, somebody get shot in the face. Like, straight up. I see a couple walking, holding hands in the street. I'm pulling out a fucking axe. Like, <laughs> the motherfuckers don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the arms off. Hold your hands now. <laughs> oh, here's a question. If you have a guy friend, man to man... If you see one of your guys who's in a friend zone, will you tell him about it? Like, will you be like, "Yo, what's up?" Oh hell yes, and you we have like a bitch, blah blah blah. We have, oh, yeah. and they don't listen. Yeah, you understand. So we have, and they don't listen. Blinded. Some guys have, will, and they will don't actually listen. like they'll figure it out after you've told them, and they'll do what they need to do to get the hell out of it. Yeah. And then some guys will just be like, "You tell them, yo, you're legit in a friend zone right now, yeah. and it's not gonna go anywhere, <laughs> and they just have that." false hope like it's so yeah. deep rooted in their mind that yo I am going to get this girl <laughs> if I'm patient if I wait it's gonna be like Prince Charming yeah we're gonna live happily ever after you know like that bullshit yeah I and mean, what do you do you, you take them out you get them drunk and go to strip club except the one on a well known street that we know of that's pretty shitty <laughs> pretty shitty <laughs> you just you don't go in the daytime well, that's any strip club. I don't think you go to any strip club <laughs> in the daytime. You, that's only you time to go to that. Except Magic City, Atlanta. The only time to go to that specific strip club is when it's like an event night. You know, like if something big is happening, like there's a big fight UFC. on TV, or if there's like some type of festival weekend, then that's when, yeah, you can go to that strip club. It would be great. Uh, nah, There'll nah. be vagina walking everywhere. <laughs> It'll be nice. It'll smell of Astro Glide. <laughs> I swear to God, that's Epi. Is Epi Man here? You? All right, look at that late entry. <laughs> you can join in. We're fresh into the topic. I gotta head back out. You asshole. Oh, you suck at life. Don't worry, we're gonna follow up next week again. Thank Just you. quick question. Do you. No, let me rephrase it. Have you, well, have you ever been in friend zone? Have you ever put someone in friend zone? Yes and yes. Yeah? yeah. Tell us about it. Uh, shit, it hasn't been since, like, high school, though. Hmm. Ah. I feel like all this happens That's pretty much in high school. Yeah. Oh, it still happens today, though. Are the grassy days, I call it. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, when you're socially awkward and to the point where you don't, you know, everything's black and white, you pretty much know after like the first few times whether or not you're getting in there or not. Mm-hmm. Way too long, you change. That boat sits so. though. But uh, at the same time, when a guy puts a girl in the friend zone, it's basically just to the point where I don't want to bang you. That's really all it comes <laughs> That's to. This exactly is where you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, there's so few reasons why a guy would not want to sleep with a girl that he gets along with, and attractiveness is pretty much the only defining character. Yeah, of course. So. <laughs> Sorry, ladies, but that's as simple as it gets. Literally, what we said. That's exactly, <laughs> yeah. that's exactly what we said. See, we're not. Doing it's pretty much like universal. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, like with women, they have so much fucking criteria that. Uh, See, yeah. he wasn't even here, and he's saying exactly what we're saying. It's man law. <laughs> <laughs> as men learn, we write more in the book. See, you're open for something different from the white delegation. Sorry. White delegation. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's pretty much just straight across the board of guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, we, we know it. Because we're the ones who are usually in it. And yeah. so we learn the tricks of the trade. Yeah, because a girl could be like, oh, I don't want a guy too tall, too broke, too rich, too, I don't know, fucking left ear is a little weird. 
Or it's she guys, girl's the girl is just like, she's either hot or not. For sure. Oh, if you don't sure. get along with her, you're still gonna, you're still gonna fuck you're her. Still gonna fuck you're gonna go on that, and if like whatever. No, a man has to fit. If he doesn't, he's out. Because yeah. like, he women get? can't see the brighter side of things like men can. You know, Maybe women, we just don't want to settle. Why you exactly. It's not a you. Of, well, no, you're not Thank settling. You. You're just enjoying the things about the person that's good. That's not settling at all. Do you realize how many people we see on Twitter that saying they're always insulting guys and all that shit? But you see how they are on Twitter when was the last time a dude brought you on $200? What do you mean? Think about that shit. Oh, <laughs> that's different though. That's the, that's the girls no. who are like, all men are cheaters. I can't trust any of them. They're all lousy. They never work. They don't want to take me out and pay for all my things. And I have a laundry list of things that have to be perfect. Bitch don't even got a that's job. That's different. That's different. That's like or she got a job. She flipping burgers. Like, like, yeah. like you, oh, you have your but standards, you your like list. Cool <laughs> but it doesn't have like to be crazy. Should a man pay on every date? That no. this is a good question. No. This is a really well, good first question. date, me personally, I, I feel on the first date, pay for it. You know, like what about the following ones? What the happens after? Like, no. when you get At in a certain relationship, point, bitch, we go in Dutch. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> or you pull out your wallet and, at if the you, very least, reach for the bill. If you're already going on. <laughs> Huh? I said take note. <laughs> Yo, it's either that or you guys <laughs> I'm sign like up every night. Yeah, but if you're already going on multiple dates, then haven't you already gone past the friend zone point? No, oh, friend zone and dating don't correlate. Like they don't. Yeah, that's you don't I mean. date someone who's in the friend zone. I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> it's just like it's Unless just like, guy, like, like a just different question, her. like on, the, yeah. on another. <laughs> so you guys don't think that the guy should pay all the time? No. no. See, like how we are. Why do it's women 50, work? It's 50-50 most of the time. <laughs> so that, 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 that's that, 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 that's a whole other podcast because yeah, because like. That's, that's the Bitch, you got a job, but you can't pay for one goddamn date. Yeah. What if like, you're dating the girl, but she just doesn't work, and like you still really like her, and you want to take her out, but you're paying. If a girl then don't got a thing. job, there's then something wrong if with the girl. she doesn't have a job, and you're still dating her, and she has to you her have to realize that she's not going to pay for anything. Mm-hmm. That's on the guy. Yeah, like you're already but making that commitment that, yeah, I know for a fact I'm paying for every day because I'm with a broke bitch. But some guys want to pay for everything. Yeah. Whereas some yeah, girls yeah, yeah. want a guy to pay for everything. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? We call them the simps. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. But I've spoken about I mentality. personally so think the guy should pay for at least the first couple of dates. First couple. Your first couple. <laughs> What's your d- d- definition? <laughs> you, you giving him a hand job at the very least at the end of the second date? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'm sorry, right now, if we're three dates in, I, I don't know, everything. like the first three, three four mentality. dates, that's what I, I think. For it. I want a blow job, okay? <laughs> oh or at least let me rub that vagina. It always God goes damn, back I to sex. That's a lot of men, it always goes back to sex. Well, you gotta say something. Women if we're going on dates where I'm paying something like. You're telling me one of those dates? You're telling me one of those dates? Like, let's say the first two dates I took you on, I paid for stuff. You're telling me on the third date you couldn't tell me come over and cook me a meal? You lazy bitch. <laughs> Suck that. Suck this dick. I paid for three dates. But see, <laughs> also, what you're saying now because you paid for three dates? Oh, yes. I'm God. Okay? <laughs> but see that. Because I still got bills to pay for, rent to pay. Like, what? Is it okay for a guy friend to pay for a girl? Ooh. That's his no, friend. No, no. It no. depends on the guy. No. If he's in the friend zone and he's paying, that's not right because no. he wants more. If, if we're just friends, male, female, we're just friends and we hey, decide to go out to eat, we are getting our own bills. Yeah. Most right. of the time, yeah. Mm. But if someone wants to treat and it's they're purely your friend, yeah. like purely, purely friend, and both of you know is it, and someone's like, you know what? I'm gonna treat you today, and then you'll be like, "Okay, I'll get you next time." Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But the there's main word no there way. Is treat. Yes, for sure. You me. have to say that. Well, you don't have to say that, but. Mm-hmm. But if I'm just like, "Yo, let's go out and get some food," like I'm starving, you know? And you're you're like, "Oh yeah, let's go someplace good." Like, well, good in the sense of where friends would go good, you know, Baton Rouge. We're all paying for our own shit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would never ask a guy friend to be yeah, like, like, are you getting this one? I've with female friends before, and we each pay for our own meal. For sure. So it is. But in a relationship, I believe it's 50-50, but there are days mm-hmm. where I'll be like, babe, I'm taking you out on a date tonight. Yeah, and he'll do the same thing for me. 
Like the other, yesterday <laughs> we went cough. to the keg. Yeah, yesterday. Oh, nice. The nice. keg? Oh, Jesus Christ. I forgot yeah. about that place. That's that great. really yeah. good. It's a really good place. It's so we're so chill. Yeah. This, this podcast is brought to you in part by <laughs> Keg Steak House and Barn. You guys... No, <laughs> screw that. We're not getting anything from them. A hey, great never... steak. How about you uh, hook us up hook for us giving up. you a little bit of promotion? Have a little bar tab just, going. Uh, you know, beep that part out. <laughs> Editing ain't shit these days, man. Yeah, <laughs> easy for me to do. <laughs> one button fix. <laughs> hey, it's not as simple as it sounds. Up, right? It's not as simple as that. It's hard work, you know. <laughs> hard work, certain tears I put into this. I we, appreciate you, <laughs> we appreciate you. We appreciate you. It's hard work I do all the time. <laughs> Wasting my internet bandwidth all the time. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. I think we've basically covered it. You know, that's that, it, yeah. If you're in the friend zone, sorry. <laughs> Try your damn I mean, Especially if you listen to this and finally figured out you're in the friend zone. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. You're welcome. Because now you can get the fuck out. And same for girls, too. Like, don't. Girl, if you're in the friend make zone. Make your fucking mind. And don't be naive. <laughs> in, like, in. All women are naive. Yeah. You can't help that. <laughs> the same way all women think all men want to fuck and when they say hi like, get the fuck out of here <laughs> fuck out of here club bitches just cause I said you got a nice top don't mean I'm staring at your tits I just gave them a glance totally is <laughs> I glass at them I ain't stare <laughs> alright so let's wrap this up feeling yourself so I, th- I felt we had a good topic good discussion mm-hmm. yeah we drifted off in the end but it was a good drift no we're obviously gonna continue this though I wanna continue the discussion I would really like to uh continue this definition of cheating because um yeah what is apparently there's verbal cheating mm-hmm. we've spoken about verbal cheating mm-hmm. what the fuck is verbal cheating man like it's like when well, people say, there's, save it there's save it mental we're not gonna cheating. You know, what the fuck is mental cheating i don't know what mental you cheating on me mentally with that woman what the fuck <laughs> no, no, no. that's like that's like a crazy person being like no no that's like a crazy person being like babe in my dream last night, I totally fucked Scarlett Johansson. What? You cheated on me in your dream? Those Hell are yeah. crazy people. You were there in the corner crying. <laughs> 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 Alright, so let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this up. Evie. Yeah. So we already know next week's topic, we're going to talk about the definition of cheating. And by the way, watching porn isn't cheating. Of course I not. I never said it was. I watch porn like every day. <laughs> I'd be rubbing them off. <laughs> oh. oh gosh! Just letting it fly. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to yeah. break windows. <laughs> Maybe any last thoughts? Even though you're here for like all of two minutes. That's all it takes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's. Just get that truth. All right, so uh, let's go ahead. What friend zone? When the last topic? Any last thing to say? Uh. Any advice you can give to those pathetic guys out there that are stuck in the friend? We're trying zone? to help them, man. Yeah, guys stuck in friend zone. You do it too. I mean, the next uh, awkward girl that comes up that you really don't want to bang and you're just kind of like cold shouldering her or trying to get out of the conversation. Do not kiss her on the forehead. That's <laughs> also mean. <laughs> just think. Who does that other than grandparents? <laughs> anyway. People you put in the friend zone. <laughs> Guys, you do it too. You're just as guilty of that shit. Mm-hmm. Moral of the story is she does not want to bang you, otherwise she would have already. <laughs> yep. Especially if you've seen her drunk. Yeah. So we even talk about that. Find a new <laughs> drunk chick. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the white perspective actually. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did not think of that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh any last thoughts, anyone? No, I think this was good. It's all covered, you know, uh Play on players, do your things. If you're in the friend zone, sorry. If you got him in the friend zone, ride that roller coaster till it runs off the tracks. You. Alright, so let's wrap this up. Uh, thanks for. True everyone. friend gets benefits. <laughs> True friend. <laughs> Show me some tennis. <laughs> let's wrap this up. So, a little, uh, a little housekeeping to do. We finally have up the uh, Twitter account for uh, the Huddle Podcast. It's. Yeah. Uh, it's THP all capital letters underscore official. Send uh, us a Twitter. tweet if you got some topics you want us to run over, if uh, you just want to sing us some praises about what we've been doing, or if you want to tell us what we did wrong in an episode. Feedback is always welcome, appreciated, and encouraged. And we will give you all advice on what you need to learn from this week's podcast. 
If you want to bitch about me, too bad. I still don't have a Twitter account. Yeah. <laughs> nah, he, his is going to get set up. If I did that one, his... <laughs> I'm just going to make him one. And I'm gonna be the well, person like those, behind like, it. Uh, those fake celebrity twitters, and yeah. it, when I do make one, it's gonna have to be like the real Zach. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, because I'm gonna be in control of your home. It's gonna be Epi Man. <laughs> All right, uh, so yeah, let's wrap this up. Uh, thanks again for listening, and we will get to you next week with the cheaters. Yeah, definition of cheating. I really want to go over this because I feel like I've been verbally cheating. <laughs> Who would have known? We should continue this podcast and get into that right now. I really have no clue what the fuck that means. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to spend this yeah, whole week trying to figure out what verbal cheating means. That's going to be a real dangerous topic for me. <laughs> <laughs> Time to take another look at Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's wrap this up. See you all later, people. See you all next week. Thanks for listening. Peace.